Through the fan man and circuit room. Now as for this stuff, I am so proud of myself. I have figured out how to make it go batshit crazy. Let me get the power supply hooked up. Yeah! <laughs> this is what comes from staring at something for a long time. Behold the beauty of the mechanical computer. I take my scientific ground wire and I attach that to what I think might be ground because it's got a lot of wires coming off of it. So that's how I determined that that would be ground. Then I take my positive clip and I attach that to this. And the reason I chose this is that I tried attaching the terminal to everything and this is the one that worked. Don't do that at home, but I did. Okay, want me to turn it on? Woo! Okay, I'm gonna just give it a quick blip. Yes. Okay, here we go. The fire control computer in action. Hey, it's not doing anything. Why not? Because I haven't told it to yet. Here's what I'm gonna tell it. I'm gonna look at this number five. Okay, that's, that says the number five here. And I'm gonna set this slider, it's a little nipple. I'm going to set it to 5. I'm going to set this one to 6. I'm going to set this one to 7. Okay? And that's on row 5. Now watch what I do. This little turn, this thing says 1 right now. Now watch what I do. I just advance that to where it says 5. I advance that to where it says 5, and now row 5 happens to be engaging the appropriate switches down here. What did that do, you might well ask? <laughs> I'll tell you what it did. When I hit this, something will happen. Did you see what happened? I'll tell you what happened. This says 35, this says 6, and this says 0.7. So we've got 356.7 somethings. I don't know. But by setting those channels, we were able to make a little preset that would tell these guys where to go. Now there's one more switch that I can hit. And watch what it does. It activates the all the bull. Okay, here we go. Starting from th thirty-five, from five, six, seven. Here we go. Five, six, seven. I start my countdown. Oh, let's use it here. Nope. I don't know what it's doing, but that counts up. When it hits B, this starts. When that hits B, this starts. And then they reset. Five, four, three, two, one, B. Five, three, two, one, zero, B. Four, three, two, six, seven, one, zero. I don't know what it's doing. It just goes around and resets. So I figured out what. So I'm really proud because I figured out just by looking at all this stuff and playing with it that this is how you rotate the drum by setting the little nipples on the drum, you control what these three numbers start at. 
And by firing this off, you start a countdown that begins here, goes here, and then to here. And all in the process, it's turning gears and shafts in very specific ways, which I think are outputting, they're, out, they're giving their outputs to the airplane, to the, to the firing mechanisms, via these shaft values. So I got one, two, three, four, five shafts that look suspiciously like they're built to fit precisely onto a doodad that they will then turn, which in turn will probably aim a gun at something. So that's as far as I've gotten on the mechanical fire computer. Um, yeah, it would make an awesome sequencer. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? It's a fire control computer. <laughs>